Inoue Sensei, he's um, one of three people who, or four people, one of four people who helped set up the Yoshinkan under Shiora Gozo Kancho. And Inoue Sensei and someone else called Kushida Sensei in America who died last year, they set up the basics of Yoshinkan Aikido. In, in a way, Sensei, in my opinion, is what I call a gentleman of the martial arts. He's a true gentleman of the martial arts. He's a very, very nice man. His technique is very sharp and very good, but he can also be very hard when he wants. Uh, but he, he's the kind of teacher who lets you grow and encourages you to, to become, to realize your potential. He never stops anyone. He always encourages people to, to go, to become better. Um, I saw him many times in overseas. I traveled with him to Canada, to Malaysia, to Indonesia. I brought him to Australia a few times. And he's just, because he's so, like, he's like a, a favorite uncle who comes to visit. You forget how deadly he is sometimes. And he was, his expertise or what he's famous for in Aikido is uh, Kokyuho techniques or Nukuiwaza, which is like a uh, no power techniques. He just, you grab him and he just goes boom, like this. And in Malaysia, there was a Aikido, he was teaching this. And at dinner, there was a Aikido, I think he was a third dan from a different school. And uh, he said to Inoue Sensei, um, just, he was very rude, but he came, he grabbed Inoue Sensei when Inoue Sensei was sitting down and he says, uh, can you show me what you were teaching? And he grabbed him really hard. And Inoue Sensei went like this and he flew. And he was just, he just went like this and the guy flew and everyone went, what? So, um, but he, I think he's very, his looks are very deceiving because he's a very nice man. People underestimate his ability. But I think he's a true gentleman of the martial arts because he doesn't show off and he just is very passionate and loves his art. He said now that he turned 77, uh, Aikido is becoming interesting to him.